Welcome to Four Speedy Balls. In this video, I am going to share with you some last minute tips and tricks for New Year's Eve. If your dog is scared of fireworks and your all year round home training was not successful, here is what you can do. Stupid. Yup, parada. Let's talk about the home first. Like Kevin in Home Alone, I created a battle plan. Prepare your home by making sure your door are as much isolated as possible. Use a fleece blanket and window blinds wherever possible. Prepare a blanket to cover your dog's safe place if necessary. Turn on TV to help draw out the outside noise. Choose the program wisely as a metal concert won't help your dog much. Create a safe place for your dog. In our case, we use the dog crate placed just near the couch in the living room. The crate door remains open, but Brexy usually stays there feeling safe and at the same time close to us. I give her a chewing treat and her favorite toy to enhance her feeling safe. Don't be disappointed if you create a safe base and your dog decides to find another one. Prepare a survivor kit and put it close to you. I usually have it on the table next to the couch. In addition to the chew treat and a toy, the survivor kit also contains other useful items. First of all, I have some calming products on hand. These products are certainly not all sufficient and I always recommend training the dog to the sounds of fireworks rather than relying on any pills. But as a last rescue, pills can serve well. These products come in various forms. For example, I have these herbal essences for calming, which I usually drip into the palm of my hand and let Brexie lick as much as she wants. It is usually better to start using these essences in advance so that the dog can get used to it. But if you have a chance to buy them today, do not hesitate. Another commonly available product is the Bax essences. As this product contains alcohol, you need to strictly follow the instructions and give your dog just a couple of drops. It is said you should just put it on your dog's tongue, however, I prefer to use dog cookies to ensure I distributed the right amount of the product. This way, it is also a force-free application, so that's what I prefer. If you don't want to rely on herbs, you can use veterinary approved pills instead. Aloe is calming is a product you can buy online or in a pet shop. However, you can also ask your vet to give you some other medicaments. I usually do a little bit of nose work training to give the pill as a treat. Check out our videos to find out more about nose work. Another item in my survival kit is a cooling mat. As your dog may be breathing heavily and your windows will be closed tightly, your dog may feel too warm. Enable him to lay down on a cooling mat when he wants to. Never use any cooling tools that your dog cannot get off from. Prepare an absorbent bed in case your dog will not be able to perform the need outside. You can buy special puppy pads or simply any absorbent pad from the pharmacy. It will definitely help if you have the extension learned on command or the use of the pod learned. Watch for signals that your dog needs to go out, for example, lounging by the door. The fridge is also marked in my battle plan. That's because I have various filled interactive toys ready in it. I always prepare them in advance and use a variety. They vary in filling, difficulty and type. I always choose the filling from foods that I know that the, the dog likes and also don't cause digestive problems. The last thing you need on New Year's Eve is for your dog to have any intestinal issues. I use kibble that the dog is used to, meat bags and canned food. I choose the type of product based on the dog's current condition. If I see that he is very stressed from the fireworks, I choose a rather easier difficult toy. I don't want the dog to be even more frustrated from having a toy that is too difficult and not being able to get the treats out in the specific condition he is in. If you haven't seen my videos about our favorite interactive dog toys, please check it out. You can see Vespol, Topol, Vespol Tux, Likimat and Soda Pop here. 
I usually give one of the toys, specifically this vest pod ducks, a freeze. As I mentioned, ducks can get very hot, especially if there are more of you at home on New Year's Eve. In that case, really make sure your dog has somewhere to crawl and do not be disturbed and give him a frozen interactive toy. I always let the toy thaw a little bit before serving. Now the mission freezer and the mission fridge are accomplished. If you are surprised by the amount of toys for one dog, believe me, my Brexit will definitely not get and eat everything on New Year's Eve. But I am happy to be prepared. From the rest of the kibble and meat I prepared a simple bowl in case she is not in the mood for interactive toys uh, and I just don't want her to leave her hungry. Once the food is ready, make sure you provide a bowl with water to an easily accessible place. Always ensure the dog has something to drink. Note that he can easily get dehydrated, so ensure he drinks even when he doesn't want to. Try to add a couple of drops of salmon oil to your dog's bowl to push him to drink. Now that we've set up our home, let's talk about staying outside. For the whole New Year's Eve and the 1st of January, I lead my dog with a harness. I don't use collars. The harness also comes with a tag with my phone number and a link to Brexit's microchip. Why don't I use a collar? Whatever color you have, believe the fear can be a very powerful witch and your dog can get out of a collar unexpectedly quickly. He can easily get scared and run away or in the worst case scenario, jump under the car. That's why I think safety is key and I double the protection on these two days. And I mean literally. I use two leashes to secure my dog properly. One of them is clipped around my waist which gives me free hands. The second one can be used as a crossbody dog leash or I can just hold it in a handle like this. And this is how it looks like. By the way, always check the curb burners and bear in mind your dog's fear can give him a lot of strength. I always try to walk my dog during the late daylight before the fireworks begin. Even though my dog is very reliable off leash, I never let her off leash on New Year's Eve and on the 1st of January. Not even when being on our garden. And if you have an outdoor dog, consider whether he can stay indoors with you on New Year's Eve. So, these are my tips and tricks for a relaxed New Year's Eve with a dog. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and check my other videos for more tips. I'll see you in another video. Till then, have fun!